part four of Be With Me Coach podcast series where I'll be consulting, coaching, and mentoring business owners, entrepreneurs, and creatives that have allowed me to use your situation so you can start showing up, so you can start refining the way you sell online. Okay, so let's hear from Jessica. She is a product-based business owner and she is trying to launch her or help her son launch his product-based business. So let's hear from Jessica. So if you stumbled on a random episode, this is a no BS marketing and branding entrepreneurship plus a lifestyle podcast for business owners, entrepreneurs, creatives, and those of you who are ready to expand and revamp the way you show up and sell online. So I am your future coach, Teresa Ducevic, and I'm so glad you are here. So let's hear from Jessica. She is a product-based business owner, and she wants to help her son launch his own product-based business. Let's go. The business that I have that I'm focusing on during this particular call is the one that I have with my son called Vanish Bath Bomb. And so we pretty much make handmade products. So we make handmade bath bombs, body scrubs, body butter, body oil, and also the shower fizzies. So we've been in business for about a year now. Um, Just December made it a full year. And so I really need to get to the point where I'm having consistent sales with the business or figure out what changes I kind of need to make in order just to at least right now, at least consistency where it's like, you know, kidding you not at least more than a few a month or you know like every other day it's so up and down right now which is not uncommon for a business but I also know that I'm missing a few of the marks for me to actually get the sales okay okay um I let me see did you put an Instagram account on your I should have but if not everything is vanished bath bomb you could google my business and it'll pop up everything Okay. Yeah. Um, I don't see a business account or Instagram account on there. That's okay. So let's go over your Instagram really quick. So you mentioned a vanish, vanish bath bomb altogether on Instagram. Here we go. Gotcha. And initially I had at one point I had to go daddy handling my social media, but there was no changes. Mm-hmm. And I was honestly getting to the point where I'm just wasting $350 a month. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, um, one, I did not know that GoDaddy did that. Mm-hmm. And usually with big companies like that, they do handle things of that nature, but not to a small business extent, if you know what I mean. Yeah. Uh, pre- pretty much they're kind of like very general. Mm-hmm. And when it comes to social media and small businesses, general and basic is not where you want to be at or you want to put your business at. But um, I will say the good thing that came out of it is they did my product photos. So that came out, oh my God, they were amazing. So they actually look, there's sometimes like people think they're stock images and it's not, it's the actual product. Oh, that's nice. Oh, like this one, I'm assuming. Yes, that's the actual product. So number one thing definitely is having great product photos. Number one, consistent in, in every platform and everything that you're doing, great product photos, because uh, first impressions are number one. You should always have good impressions with your product, especially if you're selling, you know? Mm -hmm. So with that, you're doing amazing when it comes to that. Um, How are you promoting or how are you putting yourself out there when it comes to these products, because I do see posts. I see a lot of writing Mm -hmm. and for product based Mm -hmm. uh, businesses, I don't recommend a lot of writing because you need to pretty much talk about your product in every which way you need to talk about product. A lot of people don't care to read. They're too lazy to read. And so this is where video comes in. So how are you promoting your, your product? or things that you do within your business? So um, I do a lot of pop-up events. And so when I'm doing that, I go live when I'm at the pop-up events, but it's not necessarily where I'm keeping it, where it's saved to the business page, but it's in that moment. Um, Every once in a while, I'll use Facebook 
ads to do something i know they they're kind of funny on it because so with the ads i know like i tried to do one and it wouldn't let me because like my tag of my business name was inside of the photo so it's me like really understanding facebook and learning their ads and like what would be the best thing for it um, depending on when i have a new product i have videos come out i did with the halloween bath bomb i did a video to show how the bath bomb dissolved and what was inside of it i do have a couple of more content videos that i took that i have not posted yet just because i've been planning and learning how to edit those and i'm surprisingly getting very good at that so it's like i'm an un <laughs> unsolicited des graphic designer <laughs> so, okay that's good yeah. Okay. I'm getting the hang of that. But yes, I agree with you with having more of that because I do know that that was something major that I was lacking was that. And then I had a little issue like, because my target audience technically is everyone because it is, and I'm not trying to exclude anyone. But then I was like, well, how do I do that? <laughs> how do I incorporate that? And so my husband finally tells me after, I don't know how much money I spent on GoDaddy afterwards to say, hey, you know what? You should do it where, you know, one day you have it geared towards people where it's like, it was raining outside, then do the video. I'm like, yeah, you tell me this 365 days later. But I thank you <laughs> so much. Well, I'll have to he had a good her. idea. So then I didn't even think about, you know what I mean? It didn't even dawn on me of trying to use like what's happening every single day to try to get the every everyday target audience. It didn't did not click to save my life. And then it clicked. So that's when I started making the content video. <laughs> it was the same. So then I started making the content video. So I do have a few things that I'm working on that'll start being released. But how often do you think I should be posting like the, the videos for the product more consistent and more rather than the writing, correct? Right. I mean, you should be posting every day if you if you want. Um, not necessarily where you are spreading yourself thin, okay? Because mm -hmm. that's not the whole point of everything. But you need to have that good of a content to be able to post, you know, a couple times a week. Okay. But I do have to agree with your husband. And that's what I was going to tell you. Um, not everyone is your target audience. I, I hate to break it to you. Product, whatever you sell, clothing, not like things that we feel like, okay, that would be everyone is my target audience. Fortunately, it's not because not everybody's going to buy your product. Not everybody mm -hmm. cares for your product. Not everybody needs your product or finds it interesting or anything like that. So you have to put those considerations into factor. Okay. This is why I need to create a target audience. So basically what your husband was saying, which is an awesome idea to pretty much create uh, seasonal, you know, target audiences. Okay. Since, since it's bath bombs and, you know, things that not the everyday person buys. Yes. Yeah. So you want to be able to target everyone, but in seasonal stages, I guess you can say, or in levels. I can see so, exactly what you're saying. Mm -hmm. Valentine's Day coming up, so that would be different. March, you know, it's kind of harder to kind of get somebody to get something for that. I see exactly what you're saying. Right. And so when creating content, for that, you want to really think outside the box, really be creative because that's what's going to separate you from everyone else that sells candles, bath bombs, things of that nature, that in that same category per se, um, you want to really think outside the box, really brainstorm, have a content calendar of what exactly you're going to be putting out there because going with the flow and if that's what you're doing, going with the flow as in, okay, this is what I'm going to post this day, um, and then just wait for that day to create the content, then other things are gonna happen. So you're gonna miss that mark. So you want, want to be prepared as a small business owner, as a product-based owner, pretty much as a person who wants to see more growth and more sales, you have to be on top of your game when it comes to how are you putting yourself out there and when are you putting yourself out there? So mm -hmm. when you mentioned being consistent, I want you to be more consistent in videos because- okay videos are what's going to sell. And in those videos, you have to describe what's the difference between this bath bomb that I can get on at Target for a dollar or two, you know, and your bath bomb okay. or your, your product. You have to put key specific spotlights or highlights of your products because that's what's going to sell. Okay. You have to convince the consumer why they need to buy your stuff and not Target or not anybody else that's pretty much doing the same thing as you okay, okay. 
This is where thinking outside the box comes into play. This is where everything else comes into play. Like you really have to strategize. Strategy is my word as a brand strategist. It's my <laughs> word. Um, it's what I do pretty much. And so what I do with customers and my clients, we sit down and really speak, like really, really dissect the product. Okay. This is what's going to happen. You have this product, you mm-hmm. have say your bath bomb, right? Which is the best seller? Why is it the best seller? Okay. How are we going to make it continue to be the best seller? Right. Okay. Sometimes you really have to enhance features in your products. Mm-hmm. That way they are attractive. Okay. To, so if you have a specific bath bomb that is made out of something that is like never seen before, or even people do use it or whatever, but you want to enhance that. Okay. It's made with, I don't know, a low vera or soy or Mm -hmm. something but you're going to be always talking about it okay always because statistically speaking okay people need to see someone sell something or promote something or advertise something or talk about something six to seven times before they commit and so if you want to see consistent sales you have to be consistently talking okay sorry i'm writing notes (laughs) i see that don't worry Okay, that makes sense because I'm like that myself personally, just because I'm very like, especially in the biz, like it's anything related to my business. I'm definitely watching you so many times before I'm like, mm, let me yeah, go like, do Should it. I buy or should I invest? Yes. Much, just because you know? of the fact that I did go with GoDaddy for social and I really did not get much of a value like there were little things that I kind of learned here and there from it but it wasn't as much that I was hoping that it would be um in that so ever since then I've just been like on edge and like a little nervous and not really sure which way to go with it because with them they were using like some stock photos but it's also not like representing what I right. want with the brand either and then it's going off of it is not being consistent with the brand colors like they Absolutely. said we would so it's like it's a lot that goes with it and I don't like that because you now like are making my social media be all over the place and that's not what I told you like I told you I wanted to pick a certain pattern like do something different where it's going to draw like the attention like my husband loses like he's like the perfect person to use because when he doesn't really care for social media which is perfect because if I use him and it catches his attention then I'm like, oh, good. It caught your attention. And I know I'm solid for people who's really looking at it because he does not. Like, I'm not kidding. Like, you, he got like a good three to five seconds before he's on to the next <laughs> thing. So, like, as in the um, same way, like, it's amazing. So it helps me with that part, but then it doesn't help me while I'm creating it. And so I'm like, hey, look at this. And he's like, mm. and I'm like, damn it. I thought that was good. <laughs> but I'm on social media like that, you know, and looking at stuff and he's not. So it's kind of, I guess, beneficial to kind of have him. So I, like, I do have somebody that's like really looking at it and like, you know, if it's getting his attention in two seconds or not. That's awesome. That's awesome to use everything you have to your advantage really yeah I really need to utilize it that's probably honestly it's part of my problem I'm not utilizing it I, and I'm aware of that <laughs> now I don't know if you're aware that's good it's what matters. <laughs> um but <Fine>. uh, <laughs> but yeah when it comes to your product just really think more outside the box mm-hmm. plus video and you're big golden really okay and what are the services that you offer So I offer, when it comes to small businesses, product-based, because I also serve coaches and, you know, Mm -hmm. service-based individuals. But for product-based, what I can do for you is pretty much, I have a two-hour VIP session where we sit down, Mm -hmm. okay, sit down and we dissect your business. And really the two-hour VIP session is for anything that you need help with, but talking to you and seeing what you know your needs are that two hour strategy session it's it's intense so it's called an intensive because it's intense and so we're going to be pretty much dissecting your business okay we're looking at the colors um, we're looking at your your mission your goals everything that's going to be aligning and so the colors that you're going to be using also, I am I have a psychology degree, so I oh, like yeah, good, good. psychology-based consumer practices. Okay, what makes the product sell and what makes people buy? Okay, so we'll sit down and we use colors. There's meanings for every color. 
um, you know. Yes, I noticed that kind of what I did when I picked the colors, like I actually researched and what it meant, which is not bad to an extent, but you know how, like, as you go and you're building a brand, you're like, hmm, should I just pick a different color? Yeah. Right. As the time goes and you learn more, you want to want to rebrand per se. Yes. I started kind of doing a little, like I did change the logo. Okay. Which was good because I got it from like this, you know, basic little, I think, I don't even know where I got it, honestly. And it actually hired a graphic designer and got the logo. So the logo that you see now is the newest one. I just now have to convert that on everything else that I have. Okay. Okay. Um, so uh, what I was saying for the two hour VIP session, so we'll sit down and we'll pretty much strategize how we're going to, um, from start to finish, how we're going to place your product, your mission, your vision, everything, how you want everything to look and how you want it to touch people. Okay. okay. How you want it to touch people depends on how you're going to be putting yourself out there, putting yourself out there, putting your family out there, um, everything because you're creating a personal brand, a personal brand um, over even business brand, anything. Personal brand right now is what sells. Okay. What makes you different? What makes your philosophy, your mission, your vision, your everything, what is different from this other person? So that's what we'll sit down and we'll pretty much dissect from A to C. We'll also dissect your your logo, everything, because okay. everything has to align with each other. Just like you were mentioned earlier, you don't want to be all over the place. Even when your logo, you want your colors, with your photo feed, with your mission, how you even talk consistently about your product. You cannot be um, saying this one day and then this other day because people who are following you, remember I told you um, earlier, people watch you six to seven times or people watching you right now, ready to buy, but they want to see what's different mm-hmm. from you and the rest. So everything you do is kind of like a script. Yeah. If, if you want to put it that way, it's kind of like a script. So you have to memorize your pitch when you're saying saying you know talking about your products or services especially when you do you know conventions and pop-ups and things of that nature you need to have that locked down because that's what's going to be the the differentiator can you say that word um from (laughs) someone saying okay yes i'm gonna buy give me a whole box or i just want a one or two type of thing i see what you're saying and i've noticed that too within the pop-up events by doing that even though I did it like starting September of last year, but I was doing it like at least two every month from September to December. And so honestly, it helped a lot, like with trying to see what is attracting people when I say what, and that kind of what led me honestly to do this is like, okay, I really need to go back and, and break it down a little bit more because in pop-ups, I'm pretty good with it. Like almost, I want to say like it's a 90% that someone's going to purchase, but like you're saying, it's a difference for you purchasing right now, just because you want to support, but I told us to make you a reoccurring customer. It's not just at this one event, you purchase something just to support, like it's to have you remain being one and keep wanting to come back. Absolutely. And the thing is about people, we purchase based on emotions. Yes. Okay? Not, you know, because sometimes you're like, oh yeah, I want it. Oh, I love the scent or I love the color. No, like emotion. How can I connect to you? How do I connect with the brand? Mm-hmm. You know? And so that's what I will be helping you with really just optimizing and bringing to light, enhancing everything. That way, when you talk in person or through video on social media, people are going to be able to feel you. Okay. Oh, that's the thing about having a brand strategist and a brand designer. Think of uh, the iceberg effect, right? Everything you see on the top, pretty, is the brand designer logo, pretty, everything great, you know what I mean? But the bottom is where the nitty gritty is at, you know? Mm -hmm. Really just asking those hardcore questions, strategizing, okay, this is how I'm going to be talking from now on or be saying, and not saying that you're going to change who you are, but you're going to take your brand more seriously. Yes, in, in a better lack of words, I guess you could say, right? Yeah, it, it, and that's exactly what it is. It's, it's uh-huh. really being serious. Right. So that's pretty much what we're working on. And those are two-hour VIP session, and that's $897. Okay. So for two hours, we'll be um, as soon as we start till the very last minute. But before that, we'll have a 30-minute get-to-know-me. Um, really get-to-know-me. That way, when we come up for the meeting, I have some stuff ready for you. Um, so we don't 
uh, waste any more time. You know, I want to be able to maximize the time um, with you as much as possible. Okay. Um, and then I have a be with me coach, which is pretty much, you know, the benefits of having a strategist coach with mm -hmm. you all the time. You know, if you want to launch a new scent or launch a new bath bomb or just launch something or just enhance something or remove, I mean, you know, the benefits of having a coach with you and, and running things by like, hey, what do you think about this? So I have this be with me, be with me coach and is a four month, um, pretty much coaching program, um, which is 3,500 and we'll meet every week for 60 minutes. And then anything that you need help with anything whatsoever, when it comes to even the graphics, like, what do you think about me posting this or this, et cetera, anything, um, I'll be with you uh, there every step of the way, even also support via text message. You can text me, you can FaceTime me, however. So that's a four month um, package, which is 35 and we'll meet, um, every week for 60 minutes. And we'll also, I will also be teaching you uh, marketing tactics, branding tactics that are going to convert and grow your following as well. I also have in an extension of that is a uh, pay as you go. So maybe you don't need the four month coaching package. Maybe you just need a couple of weeks or a month or two months. I have a pay uh, as you go, which is 250 a week. And it's pretty much the same thing but being pay as you go um, because the four month is a four month contract pretty much. Okay. Then I also have a Instagram optimization and that is pretty much optimizing your Instagram, your bio, your photos, your feed, your highlights. I mean, you name it, optimize to convert. That one, you also will be getting Instagram highlights that are customized to you and um, a content calendar, okay? What to post on a daily, on a monthly, on a weekly basis. And that one is 297. So we'll meet for 45 minutes to discuss your Instagram, okay? Um, if that's what you use as your primary account, if you use TikTok or if you use a Facebook page or Facebook group, we'll, talk, we'll do one, Instagram audit mm -hmm. or one social media audit where I'll tell you, okay, this is what you should change. This is what you should put on your bio, et cetera, et cetera. Um, but being that Instagram is the number one place that I recommend because that's the number one place people go when they want to learn a little bit about you for your social media account. They want to go to Instagram. They don't ever go to your TikTok or your Facebook page or wherever they go to Instagram. So um, if that's your primary one and that's what you want to work on, we'll work on that for five minutes and I'll give you some 10 video uh, guides. I give you five photo guides, things that you can use with your photos and your videos and hashtags that are super important for people to find you, right? From everywhere. So that one is 297. Okay. 297. So that's what I have. Uh, for you as a product based business. Okay. Okay. That's good. And then, okay. I'm going to probably end up scheduling something or reaching out again, because I do have my son's other business that I'm going to launch in May. And that one is his lemonade business that he wants to do. So I'm still trying to work out the kinks of how he wants to do it. Like what ingredients you want to use and then I just bought the LLC for it. <laughs> so okay. I still got to um, get that figured out. Now that you're mentioning that, I have a launch strategy plan. Okay. Oh, okay. Yes. It's I have a three month, six month, and a 12 month launch uh, strategy plan. Okay. Because okay. you need to be strategic how you launch. That way you'll have people ready to buy exactly. when you open the course. Okay. The one I recommend since you're launching it in March, you said, is it necessarily in May. or in May? Yes. Do you necessarily have to launch it in May or that's just a day that you guys picked? That's what I want because that's his birthday's in May. Okay. We can do um, maybe a customized four month launch. Um, it's a plan where you have to be consistent in. There are prompts for you to 
um, for him to follow. Okay, post what on this day, talk about this on this day, et cetera. That way, um, once it's time to launch and he has email list, okay? okay. Our job is to, our mission is to collect emails. That way, when it's time to open, people get notification, we're open. Here's a link okay. to the store, right? And then the store, he'll have a about me video and why he launched, why he picked this, you know, business that he he wants to do mm -hmm. and all that. So that way we'll connect with the audience emotionally. Okay. Right? We'll, have a, we'll have a not a nurturing um, business. And that one is 997. Okay. Because it has the four month launch plan. Every day is a different thing. Every week is a different thing. Every month is a different thing. Okay. And that's just me being with him every step of the way, as well as sending him emails. Okay, this is what you need to do for this day or for this week and have it done. Don't miss a day, okay? okay. You want it to be strategic and you want it to be successful launch day where you're selling or selling out type of deal. Okay. It'll be 997. Okay, perfect. Okay, let me get with my little business partner because I do talk to him about everything, regardless if I'm paying for it. <laughs> so <laughs> hey. that's a part of it. Thank you so much for your time. I appreciate you so much. And I do feel reassured that you have a degree in psychology. So that, that changes oh, you from a lot of them. <laughs> yeah, right behind you. <laughs> it changes you from a lot because some of them just don't even have that and be charging more. So... <laughs> Oh man. All right. Well, it was very nice talking to you, Jessica. If you have any questions, you can always email me. That's my email. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Of course. Of course. So this is all I have for you today. And if you found this episode super helpful or resonated in a new way, shape or form, let me know your thoughts in whatever platform you are subscribed to or listening to. And let's catch on the DMs. Catch me on Insta at Teresa G. Seaback and I'll be seeing you very soon. <laughs>